Give me fuel, give me fire. Ask your doctor about Trespire. Mostly good news. This guy printing fine. Really quite nice shark coming out of this. It's also worth remembering that this one was real screwed up. However, I really do have a red-headed stepchild in this printer. This thing messed up. I know the filament was fine. Remember, extruder motor replaced, Bowden tube replaced, entire hot end replaced, x-axis belt replaced, still doesn't work. I mean, the thing that's really crazy is everything I've printed on this printer printed fine up until like here or here. I don't understand logically why that is. There's no, like it's not different. What could possibly be different up here? Like I know that sometimes you can get differences if this wheel is not in the right place because the angle of the filament changes based on where the, uh, where the print is at. But we know that's fine. So this is just an incredibly, incredibly naughty printer. Like, I don't even know what to do about this. I guess I'm going to assume that this was a problem with that particular spool of filament because logically, there's nothing that could be wrong with this that makes any sense about like a, a, an issue like this. I mean, I guess I'll put a new nozzle and make sure there isn't a clog in here, but we're just gonna put something that isn't that important on this printer. Coffee lid coming along pretty well. This one sucks is also, but I was kind of running out of good filament because I've been producing so little filament. So I used some old filament or something, which was working, but stopped working. We're gonna put a whole new hot end on this thing. I didn't really do, I don't think I've done any repairs to this really. So while this sucks, this isn't conceptually that crazy. Over here, everything's fine. All right, I may have let this get a little too hot. We're gonna have to let this cool off and go from there. What I had been doing is turning this up all the way and then when it starts getting close to temperature, uh, turning down the voltage. But the problem with that is that you can forget that you've done this. So that was a bad idea. Yep, that is super hot. We're just gonna let this thing cool down for a while. I guess one interesting thing we learned from this is that the thermistor is still reading. Apparently these thermistors can be in an incredibly hot environment and still keep working. Logically, it makes sense. Most of the smoke is from the plastic inside, which has gotten to be insanely overheated. It's possible we have to replace this whole thing because it may be really hard to get the plastic out. But we do have extras, and even though this is really not fun, this isn't a game ender. All right, we're about to see what kind of horrible mess we get out of this. Yeah, that is some really dead plastic. That was a bad mistake, but you can see the newer uh, plastic that's coming from the hopper coming through. And uh, this is still usable. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it, even though there's a bunch of like burnt stuff on the thermistor. The thermistor is functioning. So we're gonna leave this alone for a while. We're gonna put the yeah, you can see that the new plastic's coming for the time. So we're just going to leave this alone for a while. I have to go get boxes. And when we come back, we will start again like normal. If you ever wanted to know what the upper limit of how hot you can make a thermistor is, you just, you just saw it. 
There is a very weird thing that has happened since I started doing this series, which I'm just having problems that I've never had. Like, you guys have been watching this for not even two months, but I've been doing this for six years. And like, all these weird things that are happening, it's like the universe just wants you to see something entertaining or something, I don't know. It's like my life became a reality show, and because it's a reality show, there just has to be drama. Like, drama is just drawn to my life like a magnet. You know those pharmaceutical commercials that are illegal in other countries? I wanna live like the people at the end of those commercials. Like, I wanna be one of them. I think that's my goal in life. You know, the people that are smiling and playing football in the yard while the announcer, the narrator is saying stuff like, this can give you cancer. Your limbs may fall off. Possible second tongue will grow in your mouth. Half of the patients have pneumonia. Significant chance of becoming sterile and not only you becoming sterile, all of your descendants and the people that came before you will become sterile and you will disappear like Marty McFly in that photograph in Back to the Future. I wanna be one of those people. I feel like that's the life that was promised to me. And Tivio and Tivio and Tivio. I feel like the same person that comes up with those prescription drug names also comes up with the names of things in Star Wars. As a kid, I had all of the original trilogy of Star Wars memorized. I kind of still remember a lot of Jabba the Hutt's lines. Like, Ingo Wongi Patuki. That was, I told you not to admit him. Check this out. I have this little box I put the nozzles in when I'm changing them out. This nozzle was so hot. Well, you can see what happened. Got a bunch of stuff to package, including this Sunset Sabertooth Tiger. This is the kind of stuff that like, when I make this, I don't know why I haven't sold just a million of these. They're so cool. After that slightly terrifying episode, we're taking another turn at bat. We're at the normal temperature. No smoke, nothing. Thing went back. We're going to put um, some purge material in here. And once it's running smooth, once the purge material is coming out clean, we're just gonna make some more filament. Einstein's. Yeah, there's definitely some crazy gunk coming out of this barrel. Okay, I have determined that the barrel is too clogged, so we're gonna have to use one of the other ones. Fortunately, swapping out a barrel doesn't actually take that long, but there's just too much, like, gross stuff in here. Even if I got a lot of it out, it might affect the diameter of filament, so we need to change it. Classic green alien. Big ol' skull. Giant David and the gold D20 can. With these guys, I try to include a trash bag with each one, just as a little bonus. 13 gallon trash bag. Mark Twain. Intergalactic Moai Trio. To climbs. Somebody should start a janky candle company and call it Janky Candle. Janky. Janky Candle. Rally point. Back at the shop. This may seem like a big deal, but it really isn't. Just changing out this barrel. Okay, time to actually keep this thing up again. All connected. We'll do a little bit of purge just to uh, just to be safe and back in the saddle. Time to package and paint.
couple of Einsteins here. This one without the hook option. Another big old T-Rex skull. Packaged a bunch of things, painted a bunch of things, but we've got a coffee cup. This is gonna be red in the middle and white here. And I think it's got a black lid. But before doing this, I think I'm going to get outside and take a walk for like a couple of minutes. Actually, I decided to go get a pair of shoes. I only have one pair of shoes and these things are falling apart like everywhere. These were like very, very nice Birkenstocks. I think they're actually closed. I guess I'll just take a normal walk. My left heel really pretty much is like flat on the ground now though, but you can wait till tomorrow. Things have been super stressful. Just getting in some air feels really good. I'm like extremely hungry. I realized I like went the whole day without eating. So that's what I'm gonna do when I get back to the shop. The ravenous boy I am. This is short ribs. Those marinated short ribs I got from La Michiocana the other day, $3.99 a pound. And I will be having as a side, as many oranges as I can stand to eat. Coffee, we're gonna tape off the middle and make the upper and lower parts white. What a day. Well, we got all the big printers printing. Made an entire day of really excellent filament. Chef's kiss. So good to be back in the filament game. Nice diameters, nice winding. Everything you could want. I think tomorrow, I'm gonna get those brand new sandals that I almost got today. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that customers are not freaking out and everybody I've messaged has been cool. And I pretty much worked totally flat out from dusk to dawn today, but everything looks like it's gonna be fine. And I sold a ton today a ton of orders. I think I sold a coffee cup and then a bunch of other stuff. So this pricing thing I did like a month ago is not a fluke. It is the real deal and it has probably tripled my sales. So that made it very inconvenient to have filament extruder problems and also made it a very inconvenient time to have problems with all of these S5s that I just bought and were used and messed up in different ways. But everything you want is on the other side of frustration. And I had probably like a week of frustration, pretty intense frustration. But I think we're really coming out of it for the most part. So yeah, comment below what you're thankful for, what your challenges are and things you've overcome. Remind yourself of something you've overcome that's similar to what you're facing now. Think about the giants you've slain in the past. Write your comments down in the comment section. I'll read them, but it's also a good way to encourage others because people read the comments. So we will see you tomorrow. Krish.